Stop sending me this! Feraligator is my favorite Pokemon. Well, I would really say Totodile, but they're all one evolution line, along with Croconaw, so I would count them as one. And because of that, I'm constantly tagged and sent any little related meme, and it is a blessing and a curse. And you know, it feels like a great day to talk about Feraligator because this mysterious puzzle was sent to me, and it seems like the first square is asking for a Johto and Water-type Pokemon. Anyway, the most infamous meme that I'm sent is the Feraligator Butt Sprite. This originates from Generation 3, and here I thought the Game Boy Advance was peak, but we're getting this. Obviously, these aren't actually gator cheeks. They're meant to be some of the scutes that you can see more clearly on the back of the Generation 5 sprite. It's just that when Pokemon back sprites were showing a selective portion of them, things could get a little weird. And during the move to 3D, yeah, it was a bit rough. For Alligator ended up looking way too round. I would say my favorite is the version from Black and White. Even though the pose isn't that interesting, I like how sharp and angular it looks. A close second would be the unused one from the Gold and Silver beta, where it's on all fours coming right at you. Well, that was a good little talk about my favorite Pokemon. You know, it actually fits really well into that puzzle. I mean, it is a water type from Johto. You know, I was thinking about solving the rest of it anyway because there are actually nine squares in total. You see, Pokedoku slid into my DMs and asked if I wanted to collaborate. Though I said at first I wasn't really feeling it. And then the witch sent another DM and told me I better do it or else. So yeah, if you're watching this video today, you can head on over to their website and try your best to solve this puzzle that I have handcrafted for you. It's real easy, all you have to do is pick a Pokemon that fits into each square, matching the criteria in both the column and the row, just like we did with Feraligator. But make sure you don't go stealing my answers. So the next category looks like we'll need a Hoenn and Water-type Pokemon. Well, I can think of quite a few, but I'm gonna go with Relicanth. I'm sure we all know this dude from the underwater areas, because it's an integral piece to attaining the Reggie Trio. It is genuinely one that I love from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I think it's had one of the best transitions from 2D into 3D out of any Pokemon. Being a relatively simple shape with distinct markings that can easily be brought over helped it out a lot. It is based on the Coelacanth, an animal once thought to be extinct but rediscovered less than 100 years ago. And surprisingly, it remained relatively unchanged compared to the prehistoric fossils. So Relicanth looking more or less the same in both 2D and 3D is totally on brand. Just make sure you view it from the side because otherwise you get Phineas from the front vibes. Next up, we'll need a Final Evolution Water Pokemon. And let's keep going with our fishy friends and use Gyarados, which is my second favorite Pokemon. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of the early sprite for this Pokemon, and going into 3D it looks okay, but it kind of gets plagued with the same issue a lot of fish Pokemon have, where they just kind of float in the air even if there's no water. I mean, we can't have them all flopping around on land like in the anime, but it looks just a little awkward. At least with Gyarados, apparently it is canon. In Legends Arceus, we can find it flying around the highest peaks of a field lens. But my favorite look is the sprite from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where they give it this curled up pose. Now, onto the second row. The first square needs a normal type Pokemon from Johto. And what better than the underrated Goat Girafferig? I've always thought this Pokemon was cool, and now, hey, it even has a bigger evolution. Though most sprites just kind of have it standing there, so making the jump to 3D was pretty easy. But I want to bring up the beta sprite for this Pokemon as well, where instead of having a funny choppy head in the back, it was a cat dog style double giraffe. This one makes more sense to fit in with its English name being a palindrome, and I know some people would have preferred an evolution to look like this instead, but I like the idea of the two heads becoming one. Though honestly, a black giraffe with yellow spots would be pretty sick. Out of all sprites, I like the one from Diamond and Pearl the best, where it's reversed, because that's a cool take on it. Next up, we need a normal Hoenn Pokemon. I've decided to go with one nobody saw coming because it was invisible. Kecleon. I've already brought up how through an e-reader promo card there are four different colored variants, but what I think sets the original sprite above the model is the entrance animation it had in Pokemon Emerald where it actually becomes invisible for a few frames. Here comes the final square of this row and it calls for a normal type final evolution. And you already know I've got to bring up Lopunny if I can. But even in Diamond and Pearl where it debuted, the sprite is a little odd. I mean, it's a bit difficult to tell what exactly is going on here. This is fixed in black and white where occasionally it leans a little bit forward and drops one arm to give you a better idea of its body shape. And the back sprite lets you see it from the best angle. But I feel that this Pokemon got a lot better in 3D because now we can actually see it moving around during battle, especially with the Mega Evolution, which I'm hoping to see again once we get Pokemon Legends ZA. On to the final row. And here we need a dual type Johto Pokemon. Hmm, how about the funny little spooky spider Spinarak? 
While it might not seem like there's too much interesting about it, the original sprite in Generation 2 was actually purple. This isn't like the shiny form, that was a brighter purple and since then has become more of a cool blue. But I just want to know what exactly is going on with the first one. I guess you could say these are meant to be the nighttime colors because this is what Spinarak would look like in the dark, but its evolution Ariados is pretty normal. Heck, it's even brighter here than it would later become. But I like the old Spinarak sprite because purple is a pretty neat color, and that's what makes the shiny that I found recently even more special to me. It's not quite purple, but it's close to my signature color. Second to last square, we need a dual-typed Hoenn Pokemon. How about we continue with Purple Gang and go with Sableye? Again, another Pokemon that I've had quite the history with, which you would know if you've been around for a while. Hello again, my old mascot. Though I didn't really gain an appreciation for this Pokemon until much later. Sure, the original was cool, but when I was actually able to see it in action, that's when I became one of the fellow gremlins. Potentially being inspired by the Hopkinsville Goblin, Sableye's movements in black and white give it this jittery personality that really helps to unnerve the opponent. And even going into 3D, it does these weird little waves with its arms and even backflips while attacking, perfectly matching the descriptions of the cryptid. Another one of those designs that works a lot better in motion. And now, the final square needs a dual-type final evolution, and I think I'm going to use this opportunity to bring up Zatu. With the introduction of Sky Battles and X and Y, a lot of flying-type Pokemon were made to be eternally flying in their 3D model animation. Animations. And while I personally don't hate it as much as some people, I think this is absolutely the wrong choice for Zatu. Zatu takes inspiration from Native American totem poles, among so many other things. But the point is even the Pokedex emphasizes this is a Pokemon meant to stand mostly still as it gazes into the future. I like how in Generation 2 it had variations between versions that would show the wings either tucked in or spread out. I love the look of the Silver version one because it almost looks flat like an ancient painting or something. The same goes for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Generation 5 had the chance to have the wings folded in and then occasionally spread out during battle, but no, it just shakes a bit. In my opinion, a missed opportunity. But hey, would you look at that? The puzzle has been completed. Really, I just thought this would be a great idea for me to make a video talking about a handful of Pokemon and their sprite history while also being a showcase of my favorites. A grab bag type of video while in the service of completing this Pokedoku puzzle. There were mostly Generation 2 and 3 Pokemon, not a lot of new because they needed to have actual pixel sprites to fit the topic. But when you fill out yours, you can make me proud by putting Salazzo in the final square. Thank you so much to the team over at Pokedoku for the challenge and for picking me as a feature creator. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below so you can tag me on Twitter with your choices. Also, let me know what you think in the comments about every Pokemon I brought up today. Are there any of your favorites that either got better or worse over time? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, I should probably be heading off. I think I'm getting another DM and I, I should probably answer this one. Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the great Gators. Pio the Genius, SP Jump, Kirilu Stromboli, Justin Dows, Al Rome, Pastel Blood, DeAndre, Giga Wii U 64, Claude Singh, Water Liumis, Mazhar Siddiqui, Cosmo Zero, Mr. Saturn, Rainfrux, Cheese at 62, Switz Cheese, Michael Snyder, Lockadox, Gallantry, Gator Kid, TF, Cheeseburger Lasers, Mathoclock947, The Shadow and Josh Show, Taijirai, Justin Ard, Phantom, and Quago. If you would like to support, see your name here, get access to emotes for comments and live streams and sometimes early videos, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more memes. Anyway, this is Gatorx and I'll catch you all later. You have what it takes to face your toughest opponent yet. The Wall. New Pokemon Puzzle League, can you master it? A legion of Pokemon say you can. New Pokemon Puzzle League, rated E for everyone, only on N64.